thanks for watching and today I would like to talk to you about a beautiful constant that is the offspring of an amazing phenomenon, the Euler Mascheroni constant. And here's how it is defined intuitively. Well, consider the harmonic series. One plus one half plus one third plus dot dot dot. Well, the harmonic series is divergent. So uh, the sum is infinity. Now, this sum, we can interpret this as a sum of areas of rectangles of height one, and then height one half, height one third, etc., etc. So this sum is the sum of the areas of rectangles with base one, and height one, one half, one third, etc. And essentially, uh, the fact that this is infinity means the sum of the areas of the rectangles is infinite. On the other hand, we have the integral from one to infinity of one over x dx, which is just ln of infinity, and that's infinite. But this thing, in terms of areas, is just the area under the function 1 over x from 1 to infinity. So, this area is infinite, and this area is infinite. It turns out, though, if you take the difference between this and this, you actually get a finite number. So Euler Mascheroni, intuitively, it's defined as infinity minus infinity. Where this in, we mean it with infinity, we mean this infinity, and with infinity, we mean this one. So in other words, the Euler Mascheroni constant is uh, the limit um, of the difference of the areas, in some sense. And now let's make this gibberish make sense by using partial sums. So, let Sn be the sum from k from 1 to n of 1 over k. In other words, the sum of the first n rectangles. So this is just a shorthand for 1 plus 1 half plus dot 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 plus 1 over n minus, if you want, ln of n, which is just the integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. So in other words, for the function 1 over x, you don't do it from 1 to infinity, but you do it from 1 up to a number n. And so, yeah, this is kind of like the difference of areas, but this time the difference of finite areas, because this is the area of the first n rectangles, whereas this is the area of the function from 1 over n. Now, here's my claim. I'm claiming that if you take this difference, this difference actually converges. So claim Sn converges. And not to spoil the surprise, but the limit will be called the euler mascheroni constant. And the question is, how do we show it converges? Well, it's very hard to do with epsilon delta stuff, but remember, there's this really beautiful uh, tool that helps us show that sequences converge, which is the monotone sequence theorem. In other words, if we show somehow that your sequence is decreasing and bounded below, then automatically we know that the sequence converges. And in fact, let's show that. So first of all, let's show that Sn is decreasing. And to do this, let's just calculate the differences. So let's calculate Sn plus 1 minus Sn. And so what does that become? This is the sum from k from 1 to n plus 1 of 1 over k minus the integral from 1 to n plus 1, 1 over x dx, minus the sum from k from 1 to n of 1 over k plus the integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. And, well, you can just rearrange this. 
So this just becomes the sum from a k from 1 to n plus 1 of 1 over k minus the sum from k from 1 to n of 1 over k. And then how about, um, yeah, we do plus integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. And then minus that, which I think you can just write as integral from n plus 1 to 1 of 1 over x dx. And let's simplify both sides. So what is this? This is just the sum from 1 to 1 half up to 1 over n plus 1 over n plus 1. And you're subtracting from this the sum from 1 up to 1 over n. And notice everything cancels out except this 1 over n plus 1. And here what you do, well, it just becomes the integral from n plus 1 to 1 plus the integral from 1 to n. So really what you're left with is the integral from n plus 1 to n of 1 over x dx. And which now you can just write as 1 over n plus 1 plus integral from n to n plus 1, sorry, minus that, minus the integral from n to n plus 1 of 1 over x dx. All right, and now let's see what's going on. So let's focus on the interval uh, n comma n plus 1. n comma n plus 1, and let's look at 1 over x. On the one hand, what is 1 over n plus 1? Well, notice at n plus 1, the value of the function is 1 over n plus 1. So really, 1 over n plus 1 is nothing other than the area of the rectangle with height 1 over n plus 1 and base 1. So if you want to write 1 over n plus 1 in terms of areas, this is how you do it. On the other hand, what is this? Well, it's just the area under the function from n to n plus 1. You see, and notice that the area under the function is actually bigger than the area of the rectangle. So if you subtract the area of the rectangle, the red thing, from the blue thing, you actually get something negative. This is why this is negative. Or another way to argue is simply that uh, 1 over x, well, it's bigger than 1 over n plus 1, and therefore 1 over x is you know, minus that becomes minus the integral of 1 over n plus 1 uh, from n to n plus 1, which becomes this number. Thing. The geometric explanation is quite nice. All right, so what have we shown? We've shown that Sn plus 1 minus Sn is negative, and therefore Sn is decreasing. Sn is decreasing. Very good. So one ingredient that we have. Now, um, for the other ingredient, let's show the following. Well, let's show that Sn, well, we only need that it's positive, but actually, or let's say greater or equal to zero, but actually it showed us for fun something slightly stronger. So let's quickly show that it's less than or equal to one. And that just follows because Sn is decreasing. You see, since Sn is decreasing, Sn is definitely less than its first value. So since Sn is decreasing, we know that Sn is less than or equal to S1. But what is S1? It's the sum from 1 to 1 of 1 over k minus the integral from 1 to 1 of 1 over x. But that's just 1. It's 1 minus 0, which is 1. Therefore, Sn is less than or equal to 1. Again, completely unnecessary, but I like wasting people's time. Uh, <laughs> Let's now show the relevant thing that Sn is uh, non-negative. And for this, we really have to look at areas. 
So remember Sn, what this is, is just a sum from k from 1 to n of 1 over k minus the integral from 1 over n from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. Now, this thing, what is it? Remember this, you can really think of it as in terms of areas of rectangles. So for instance, consider the area with base 1, 2 and height 1. And then the area, and you'll see why we do that. Then the area of the rectangle with height 1 half and base 2, 3, that's 1 half, etc., etc., until you get to n, n plus 1 and height 1 over n. So this is really the sum of rectangles. On the other hand, what is this? That's just the area under the function from 1 to n. So if you take, uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, da, 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 like this. This area here is the integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. Well, now notice, well, the sum of the areas of the rectangles, it's way bigger than the area under the function. And again, that's because, again, the function is decreasing, so on each subinterval, the function is less than the left endpoints. So if you take, if you want the left endpoint Riemann sum, if you know what that is, then uh, it's always bigger than the area under the function. So in fact, um, we have something slightly better even. We have that the sum of the rectangles is, um, in fact, way bigger than the integral of the function. So what I wanted to say is we actually have that the sum of the rectangles is bigger than the integral from 1 to n plus 1 of the function. But that's not what we need. We just need something slightly weaker, which is the integral from uh, 1 to n. So in other words, this is the sum of the rectangles minus the area of f, and it's definitely positive, because uh, it's bigger than that, and we always have this positive uh, remainder area here. So that's why we have that, and therefore we're, quite done. we're actually done. So what do we get? So we have Sn is decreasing and bounded below. by zero, and therefore Sn converges. Hence, Sn converges, and that limit, that's what's called the Euler-Mascheroni constant. So, uh, definition, gamma is just the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn, which is just the limit as n goes to infinity of the difference between the areas of the rectangles and um, if one, the integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx, which you can also think of as, as minus ln of n. And again, this kind of shows that the uh, sum of the rectangles grows roughly like, or the harmonic series grows roughly like 1 over n. And this constant is very important, but interestingly, uh, someone actually asked me, are there some constants for which you don't know if it's rational or irrational? Well, turns out we don't know whether uh, the euler mascheroni constant is rational or irrational. We suspect it is irrational because there's so many more irrational numbers, but again, we do not know. Maybe you will find out. And, um, and this appears a lot, you know, like uh, there are a couple of fun integration videos I've done, I think, uh, was it ln of ln of tangent or something, where you do this, uh, where you find this Euler-Mascheroni constant. Uh, all right, I hope you like this, and if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.